guys. Sorry about the dishwasher noise. David just started it before he left for work. I didn't vlog a lot this weekend, um, this past weekend. You'll see that vlog before you even see this one. sister and my grandma were here. I didn't vlog a lot because um, we were really just living in the moment but I did get a few clips um, and then usually I'm two vlogs ahead of myself so I have like two days of vlogs that are gonna go up before the current day so today will go up but there's a couple vlogs where I literally did nothing all day like um, I want to say it was Thursday, so today is Monday. This past Thursday, I spent the time, like, extra cleaning my house, you know, cleaning the things that I normally don't clean on a daily basis because my grandma and my mom were coming into town and I wanted to make sure that everything looked nice for them. Um, and I don't know if you guys like my cleaning videos, if you want to see more. If you really like the cleaning videos, let me know down below or like this video and then I will know, hey McKenna, even if you do nothing but clean all day, we want to see it. So let me know. But, <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I started my morning completely stressed out. My mom and my sister left, which was fine, but I really miss them when they leave because I don't get to see them very often. And then I tried to figure out, so that bill that I was talking about in my adulting is hard video, um, we thought we had figured it out. We called, it was basically a bill for Simeon, my son, for him being born. And they're like, you need to give us updated insurance information for that so we can cover it. If you're a child watching this, you're not going to get this at all. But if you're an adult, then you'll kind of understand how it goes. Anyways, but he was born on New Year's Eve. So he was born December 31st of 2018. And on January 1st, so the very next day on New Year's Day, my insurance changed. So they're just like, I don't know if I am just the first woman ever to have a child on New Year's Eve and switch insurances on New Year's Day, but it's very, very confusing for them. But anyways, several months ago when I had made that video, or weeks ago, I think, I had called and asked what was going on and they're like, oh, your account balance is zero, you know, you have nothing to worry about. Um, your child is covered for the first 30 days of its life under you, no matter what. And I'm like, okay, cool, cool. Well, then we got two more letters saying, pay this $5,000, otherwise, you know, bad things are going to happen or whatever. You need to send us your updated insurance information, otherwise we're going to look to you for this $5,000. I'm just like, I, I called, I, I did the adult thing, I called, they said my account balance was zero, why is this happening? And if you're an adult or if you're a kid watching this, just know that this is what adulting is like. You, things are supposed to make sense, but sometimes like the logistics of being an adult do not make sense. So I was told he's covered for the first 30 days. I didn't worry about it. And then now I'm paying for it. It's like, you can't trust what anyone says. You have to do your own research. Anyways, so 
all this paperwork on my table. I had to, it's crap that I have to take care of. And I'm just like, I don't even work anymore. Like I don't work anymore. I'm just staying home. Like, why is there so much stuff that has to get done? Like, why can't I just do the normal adult things now? Gosh, having a baby is like so freaking complicated. But at least I'm going through it now, so when I have another baby sometime, I will know what's going on and what I'm doing. But my gosh. But um, I want to clean up the house a little bit. Not that it's like super messy, but you know, when you have people over at your house, you just kind of creates a mess. So I'm going to clean up a bit. I need to wash this makeup off, reapply makeup, <laughs> get ready. Uh, go to the bank, deposit a check, take money from that bank and take it to a different bank. <laughs> um, I need to mail some letters. I think that was it. Oh, and then I need to go to my parents' house, watch The Voice, as well as um, sign up my son for state insurance because now that I'm not working, He's not covered, and my husband's job, they just pay you extra money. They don't cover you for insurance. Oh, the adult life. So much fun. I'm just sitting here. Um, David only had a little bit of work to do today at work, and so he is on his way here. Oh, there he is. Look at that. I thought I had some time to talk, but I guess I don't. We're gonna run errands together because you didn't get to hear it. Literally two seconds ago, the baby was screaming his bloody head off, and so that was a little bit stressful. I feel like he's teething. I know that's weird, but I think he is, and it's stressing me out. Also, what do you guys think of this foundation? Does it look better or worse? David says it looks the same, but he's a man, so you just, you know. Like, I know that it does crack around my nose, um, but I feel like it looks better than it normally does. I'm using a different foundation, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I usually wear, or I used to wear back in the day, but I felt like it was breaking me out, but I want to try it again because I need a foundation that lasts longer than the one that I'm wearing. I feel like it just, towards like four or five o'clock in the evening, I look horrendous, so trying this one out again after a couple of years so let me know what you think in the comments vlog my life sir <laughs> oh yeah get your creamer and I'll get the yogurt I like that. So cool. I love this song. Mm -hmm. 
Where are you doing? Hi.